cutting out hair in the Finley Photo 2 is so easy, especially when we've got a model like this on a white background or white-ish background. Simply tap the Smart Selection brush on the left hand side, we can change the width of the brush, something like that's quite good. We're going to try and get all the hair. We've missed out on some bits, but that's okay. We're going to click the Refined Edge tool on the top corner there. We can change the width of our brush here on the top left hand side bar something like that's quite good and now this is the fun bit we're not being too precious and we're trying to color in all of this model's hair all the white bits and all the strands of hair that we think we've missed in these bits here and hopefully a Fendi photo 2 will do its work boom it looks good here and if we simply just check overview the black mat's not a good view we can check the white we can check transparent but hopefully that comes out really, really clear. And if we just tick this box, you can see how well of a mask it has done. Quite often, if I'm taking photos, I'll bring it into Finley Photo and there's maybe a few things that I want to remove from this photo. It might not seem like a big thing, but we'll do a before and after just to show you how big of an impact it can have. So first of all, in the left-hand side toolbar, we're going to go into the clone brush, tap on it again, and we'll go to the end painting brush. We can change the size of this end painting brush. This here is the hardness value. I'm going to bring it up to roughly 50%, two fingers to pinch in, and I'm going to just highlight this, what I presume is a leaf, because to me, it's just a little bit distracting, as like are these few bits of leaves. You might be saying, Andrew, what are you doing? That's part of the picture, and you're right, if you're my wife, you will say that I'm cheating, and just leave the photo as is, and I don't want to take away all these rocks, I just want to take away things that I think are just going to distract the viewer, and I think that'll do it, and you'll think, Andrew, you didn't do that much if we do it before and after you can see how much this photo has actually been been changed so that's what it was that's what it is now cropping an image into any shape you want is so easy on a finley photo too simply come down to the left hand side to our rectangle tool we don't want a rectangle so just tap it for a few seconds and it'll give us lots of choices i would like a circle so we'll simply just tap by tapping one finger you will get a completely circle circle does that make sense a completely round circle and something like that's okay and then we'll tap the move tool we'll bring it into position and then by going up to the layer studio on the right hand side simply click on our photo and drag it into the circle and if by magic the photo has been cropped into a circle we're still in the move tool and we can actually move this or we could scale that photo up and this works with any shape and it's so easy to do on a Finley photo 2 on the iPad.